Good afternoon and welcome to Malvern, Malvern in Worcestershire. This is my first video of 2021. Decided to get away for a few days down this area. And today I'm going to do the Malvern Hills. I've got the dogs with me and an old friend. So we'll see how we get on to the top of Malvern's. That's where I park my car. Got to be out of here by six. Free car park. Crack on. So this is just the view out of the car park. It's absolutely cracking. Seven Valley. Let's see for miles on here. It's a little bit hazy. Few clouds. Uh, down below is Malvern and near all the other surrounding areas as well. Well, I haven't walked a mile yet. It's a steep little climb, I'm climbing about 300 feet. And up the north, this is the north side of the Malvern Hills. And they're going to be up this way, so you have to climb up there. So the path goes along there. Looks quite a straightforward path, really. So it's got some little steep bits. Now you've got to be about your wits, I suppose, when you're doing this. So there's absolutely loads and loads of paths here. That's the first part of the mountain there, we didn't go to the top there, but that's End Hill. But we've came around the paths here and made our way up here instead. Monty's doing all right. And that's more than down below there. So the path will go around here. I think there's one up top here, it's called Table Hill. So we're just sticking to these little paths here. Walked around. You come to shy. As you can see, there's loads of paths about. There's people coming down here. I'd say a lot of mountain bike action goes on here as well as walking. And paths go right round all these hills by the looks of it. We're probably you know, we're only here for a couple of hours just getting a kind of taste of what it's like. Well, this is North Hill. Absolutely corking. And the Malverns, absolutely corking. See for miles on end. That's a crossing to Edifice. Another summit up there. Malvern down here. M5 over there, Worcester in the distance, what a view, what a view, obviously you'd need all day to do all this, but we're only here for a couple of hours, so it's been well worth coming up for, absolutely corking, I don't know if I fix it up over there, I don't think it's going to pick it up, no, that's over in the Shropshire Hills, Clay Hill, So in front of us that's the Worcestershire Beacon and mulling it over the only problem is you've got to be back down to the car park by 6 o'clock or so we'll be stuck there all night in the car park and it was free so I don't know how long it's going to take it could be a running job who knows it's absolutely corking so glad it come out here that's where I've come down from So this is a directional stone, very nice. Horseshoe, Ben St Anne's well, Great Malvern, North Hill, Sugarloaf, West Malvern, the Dingle. Well us Northerners could say a few things about that. And the beacon is just there where I'm heading. So this is like the equivalent of Spaghetti Junction on Malvern because there's that many paths veering off all over the spot gonna head back down there shortly but I'm gonna go up to the summit there the Worcestershire Beacon I think this is the ice point on the Malverns now and what a fine summit it is Worcestershire Beacon 
tells you where you are and which direction you're looking over there I'll be into Wales Wales Shropshire Worcestershire all this area down here and then down further down at Gloucestershire too so there's a normal trick point in here as well it was it take a long time to do these hills Oh yeah, 1897, erected in commemoration of the 60th year of Queen Victoria's reign. I like pen. Oh yeah, excellent up here, absolutely excellent. Really is. I'm not going to go and do them ones over here now, but we've got some hand gliders on the go. If I zoom in over there. Yeah, you can see them over there on the other hills. You definitely need all day on here. Tell you something, we'll be cracking for a wild camp. Absolutely great for a wild camp. Well, one of these goals in life is to do some summit significance, and this was definitely one. I've been by it so many times. I'm glad I've done it to go to the trick point. Big point. Beautiful. One last look at the top before I head back down now. The car hopefully make it in time. And gliders. Absolutely wonderful up here. Wonderful. Let's go. Well, this is something I haven't done in a while. He's run down a fell. <laughs> Bit of fun. Penny Sprite you've ever want is further down the bottom here, she's way at the bottom. Oh. I'll get down in good time. So yeah, that's left, right and centre. So lots of mountain bikers up here. This is definitely a place to recommend if you've not been up them. Wow, I can say I've been up and must admit I'd like to go up from the other side and uh, do the other hills too, they look really good, a bit more shrubby as well, definitely a uh, fancy a sly wild camp up here, definitely. Well, on the way down, come across this building, St Anne's Well, it's a cafe, hello, you all right? Some nice seating arrangements here, we've come down. Uh, there's a bar in there as well. Really picturesque spot. We've got some wild garlic down here, Penny's having a whiff of. Have a look a bit. Yeah. Well, let's make the way down to the bottom. Well, this is an interesting building. It's called Aldwin Tower. However, as a gentleman just told me, if I zoom it on here, it says Franklin D. Roosevelt. President of the United States, 33 to 45, convalesced here. Okay. Interesting. Well, that's it. See better that way. Random piece of information. Final uh, visit before I get back in the car. Old clock tower here. This clock was erected in the first year of the reign of His Gracious Majesty King Edward VII by the Urban Council, 1901. I think there's a well, or a fountain somewhere, yeah. Spring water. Clock tower and all the history about it. Really interesting. Excellent. This water from this spring has failed recent bact bacteriological tests and should be boiled before use. This, this was restored in 2008 as well. Lovely. 
Well, that's the end of the walk. They're done five miles, that was. Up on top of the hills. This quarry, but anyway, for a while. But there's lots of paths around here which but obviously not access to at the moment because there's been a bit of fallen rocks. It's quite a popular place. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Anyway, it's nice to finally get an adventure and record it. Um, I did intend to record my Lakeland Loop bike ride last week, but my video camera didn't work. Me at the castle, I had the wrong memory card, and it was stupid. No, I thoroughly enjoyed that today. Cracking views at the top of the Malvins. I'd like to do the other side as well at some point. See how we go. Anyway, I'll see you on the next one. It's goodbye from me and goodbye from Penny. And it's goodbye from T2.